Welcome to the Baptist College of Florida, where we are celebrating 75 years of equipping God's best men and women, personally, academically, and spiritually, to fulfill their purpose in life and to lead others to do the same. Our mission is to equip the next generation of Christian leaders. That's a daunting challenge in today's society, but it's an exciting opportunity as well. We are not the only Christian college out there, but we want to be the best, and being the best requires student success at every level. For this reason, we are excited about FYI, our first year initiative. This quality enhancement plan was birthed in the fertile ground of student thought. Nurtured in the BCF college experience, developed by the college family, and is being embraced by the Baptist College community. I hope that you will see the joy, the excitement, and the purpose behind all of our actions as you are introduced to our quality enhancement plan of a first year initiative for student success. It's our QEP. 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 The heart of the Baptist College of Florida is centered upon taking Christian students and developing them into effective Christian leaders. Our QEP journey began back in 2013 with a psychology seminar called The Struggle is Real. So in the AACC student chapter, we have student leadership. Um, and the leadership that particular year decided that they wanted to do an event uh, that approached the topic of um, transitions and stress for college students and how to uh, better manage stress. And one of the things that we figured out was everybody is sort of struggling with the same things. We came together and we decided to come up with something that would help not only psychology students but students in general across the campus and it was something that everybody could relate to no matter where they were in their college career and it was something that could teach students um, no matter what they were studying. The Struggle is Real was headed by Dr. Ford and we were extremely grateful to have her take that on and, and teach this seminar. And in that event, we talked about different student issues such as um, what causes stress at uh, the college level. And it was open to everybody who wanted to come. And she covered everything that we could have possibly wanted her to cover. So we talked a lot about the things that would concern a college student that could maybe cause them to derail, um, get off track with their studies, um, maybe even missing home and issues like that, but then also uh, practical advice for how to manage that stress and things that they can do to, um, to meet that challenge head on and succeed as a college student. Everybody learned something. I spoke with so many people afterwards and everybody was so grateful that we had done it. Uh, the feedback that we got from that event um, was really overwhelming. We heard things like, wow, every college student should know these things, you know. I'm experiencing these things, but I've never really thought about it or talked about it out loud. Um, I didn't even necessarily realize that all college students are experiencing the same kind of stress and it really is a big transition. What started with the students was enhanced and echoed by a wide variety of college voices. BCF administration, the office of the registrar, the office of student life, and of course faculty and staff all contributed to its development. In addition, senior exit interviews and a presentation by the graduating class confirmed that we were on the right track. Our first year initiative has one goal, student success. It's all about student success. We want to see our students succeed. We want our students to succeed. We want to see our students succeed. It's all about student success. We want to see our students succeed. It's all about student success. All about student success. FYI, First Year Initiative is designed to engage four specific areas of transition for the first year BCF student. Improving academics, understanding metacognition, enhancing motivation, and accessing support resources. We are convinced that now is the right time. Uh, this QEP fits us perfectly. Its timing is, is perfect for us. We are convinced that student success is the right goal. Yeah, our goal is student success, and that just um, permeates this campus. 
We will do absolutely everything necessary to help our students succeed. We are convinced that FYI First Year Initiative is the right plan. We feel like we have a wonderful system in place for a lot of other areas and this QEP is going to be able to fit right into what we're doing system-wide. We feel like it's going to fit into the fabric of our institution quite well. To support the singular goal of student success, FYI First Year Initiative employs two specific strategies. First, we will equip new students by enrolling them in FYI 101 Student Success Course. FYI 101 is going to ensure that they have every advantage that they can have academically on this campus. Course structure is unique. Um, in addition to just the two days of coursework they do on Mondays and Wednesdays, every Friday they will be in the library with me and with a staff full of tutors um, compliments of our education department and they will be tutored in anything that they're missing. To measure student response, a pre-launch model was implemented in the fall of 2017. What we did with the pilot study is we took a condensed version of what's going to be in this FYI class and we tried out some of the assignments. We tried out some of the campus visits. Student feedback was gathered. We did some surveys, we gathered some results. Um, that survey was very valuable in that I was able to incorporate that into the syllabus. A second pre-launch model is underway. We are just starting the second pilot study and this one will be strictly testing out the online and distance site learning version of this course. Second, we will support new students by implementing an early warning and intervention plan to help identify first-year students who are experiencing academic and other college-related difficulties that place them at risk of failure and offering appropriate intervention. What I observe in at the Babs College of Florida is that if a student can get past their freshman year, uh, they'll stay that they'll finish a degree, but getting them through that first year is critical. Uh, therefore, I think this uh, QEP is, uh, again, perfect timing, perfect fit for us. In the area of academics, Ms. Stephanie Orr, our registrar, takes the lead. An academic pre-launch model was implemented in the summer of 2017. The registrar began to monitor student performance during the semester and saw some immediate results we're able to follow up with, with the students in a more timely manner than waiting to the end of the semester when they've already failed a class and there's nothing we can do. We're able to help them earlier in the semester. We started contacting the professors, we started contacting the students. Um, in doing so, we realized that the professors were starting to become more engaging with the students. We also ran into some students who felt they had slipped through the cracks and calling them made them realize that they were important to us, that's taken an interest to them, helped them, and that can propel them into finishing and to doing well. I just remember getting emails from Miss Stephanie. She actually called me a few times and asked, you know, what were my plans on graduation? And with all of that, she just reminded me of how close I was to graduating. And they reassured me that I was important to them and they wanted to see me follow through and finish what God has started here. Looking back, I am definitely grateful um, for all of those texts, um, those emails and those calls that I, that I got from them. I would say 95% of the students that we contact have said that I really appreciate you checking on me. I really appreciate that you're trying to find out what's going on. No one else has done that before. In other areas where first-year students struggle, Ms. Sandra Richards is the point of contact. If we have a student that is, uh, is struggling academically, we want to make sure that they're getting in touch with their professors, that they're working with our deans and our chairs of our division to make sure and, and to capitalize on the fact that they're all here for them. And we want to give them everything that we possibly can give them to, to succeed. If that student is missing classes, we want to see why they're missing classes. If we have a student that is homesick, I'm going to send two or three people over to see them and make sure that they're going to the cafeteria 
and eating and they are not by themselves uh, because we're really all in this together and when they succeed we succeed and we want to make sure that we give them the resources that they need to do that other areas not only in academics and housing in the housing area but if they just need somebody to talk to and they would really like for it to be somebody that's trained in an area uh, then we're going to set them up an appointment to see our campus uh, counselor and uh, she's incredible and they can go and confidentially speak to her and just let them know you know where they're hurting and and if there's anything that we can do then we're going to be right on top of that one goal two strategies one goal two strategies one goal two strategies it's all about equipping and supporting it's about equipping and supporting our one goal is student success our two strategies are a course to equip and a plan to support. The Baptist College of Florida understands the importance of assessing our QEP. It's imperative that we measure our progress. Assessment is incredibly important because it gives us the tool to be able to say whether we're accomplishing what we need to do, whether students are learning what they need to, to learn to be successful. And if we don't do assessment, then we have no clue whether students are learning what they need to learn. Five student learning outcomes reflect the outcomes of the overall QEP with course content and specific assignments to back them up. That makes FYI 101 student success course easy to assess using the built-in course assignments and the college's existing assessment program. We also have a tool on our BCF campus called Live Text, which is soon going to be called Watermark. And Watermark fits into the picture because it's going to allow us to continue to gather this data at the end of the term. So our QEP will fit nicely into our student support services outcome achievement reports, which are our annual reports for institutional effectiveness and the QEP coordinators and others will fill out these outcome achievement reports every year at the end of the year. And Live Text and Watermark is this tool that allows us to be able to do this. End of the semester student surveys will measure the effectiveness of our intervention as well as student response and overall satisfaction with the process. In addition to end of the semester student surveys, Senior exit interviews beginning in 2021 will look back over the student's journey with us and provide valuable feedback for improving both strategies. Promotion for FYI First Year Initiative has been ongoing and wide-reaching. In addition to standard promotional materials, Professor Chantel Oni saw to it that the BCF community understood our QEP and embraced it. We wanted to get people inquiring about what is FYI, what is QEP, what does it stand for, what does it mean. So we began to place um, flyers and posters throughout our campus and throughout that it was almost kind of buzz marketing so to say because it kind of raised the eyebrow and people kind of got inquisitive about what exactly this is. So here we have students now asking, hey what is QEP, what is FYI. We wanted to give them a little bit, let them inquire about it, then give them a little bit more. We wanted to keep that inquiry process going along throughout the entire time. Oh, I'm so excited about our quiz bowl that's taking place on March the 26th. Excited about that. Here in this quiz bowl, and it's already began to generate so much buzz around campus amongst our faculty and staff. I'm constantly receiving emails from faculty and staff saying, I want to be a part of this. Students are talking about it. But basically, our quiz bowl is designed to ensure that you know exactly what QEP is. You know that our single goal is student success. And out of student success, you know what those strategies are, equipping our students and supporting our students. Our QEP is FYI, first year initiative. Our singular goal is student success. Our two strategies are a course to equip and a plan to support. Our QEP was introduced by our students, developed by the BCF family, and is being embraced by the Baptist College community. It is designed to be assessed and improved. We look forward to the fall of 2018 and our first year initiative. We want to do everything that we possibly can to help our students to transition from their life prior to college, from their life in college, to their life after college, so that they can be most effective and successful in whatever career our Lord has called them to.